Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Lisa. I love to do videos on luxury fashion, handbags, ready to wear, that sort of thing. And I do it from the perspective of somebody who is in the middle of her life, as well as somebody who lives in the middle of the United States. So if you haven't already, I would love it if you would just take one second and click the subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. So as you saw from the thumbnail and from the packages behind me, we do have a little bit of a haul slash unboxing, and I'm excited to do both of these. One is an item that is new to my collection from the standpoint of I'm not obviously new it's from Chanel you can clearly see that it's not I'm not new to the fashion house but I am new to this particular item from Chanel and then what's in the box is something that is completely new to me but I don't own anything from this particular brand so I'm very excited to unbox it because I've never seen one actually in real life so I'm super excited about that but before we get into that, let's do a really quick what bag I'm carrying today and what's in it. And so today I am actually carrying my Birkin. This is my Birkin 30 in Noir with gold hardware. It is in the size 30, if I didn't already say that already. And yeah, so, you know, today I ran a couple of errands. I went to Walmart, I went to Target, I went to Nordstrom. Did a very quick run into H&M, but didn't find anything. And frankly, the line was way too long for me to like get involved there. But yeah, so you guys, I live in the Midwest and my Birkin comes to Walmart because that's where I go. So anyway, if you find that amusing, I don't know if you do. Um, got have some receipts. I will throw those on the ground. Another receipt. I'm carrying my Chanel Sorry, trying to get it center there. Chanel card holder in the Tiffany blue from, I believe it was the 21 key collection with the silver hardware. And I also have some more receipts. Probably need to do something with that. Some cards that just came in the mail. I got a hundred dollar gift card to uh, Neiman Marcus, which is always good. You, if you haven't watched the how I buy luxury, brand new luxury items for a discount. I will link that, I think it's up here, <laughs> link that video up above and down below so you can check that out. It's a, it's how I normally save anywhere between four or five, up to $800 off of like a brand new Chanel bag. Also carrying my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton and of course my mini pochettes, which has usually lip products in it and my little hand sanitizer and I think oh and I got lost in the back uh is my Bastia in Mykonos from Hermes so that was my bag for today the fragrance I'm wearing today is my Delina Exclusive so you can see that okay one of my favorite fall fragrances I love the Delina line in general but I tend to wear the exclusive uh, during the fall. I wear the regular Delina and the sort of rose version during spring, summer. All right, so let's do the Chanel one first, since that other one is, like I said, kind of, it's gonna be a surprise to both of us. So this is from the 22B collection. And uh, this, like I said, this is a new item to me from Chanel. I have other items from Chanel in this sort of general category, but this is my first kind, my first one of this particular kind, and you'll understand when I unbox it. So before I unbox it, here's my proof of purchase. This was from, I believe this is from, yeah. yeah, so it was from Neiman Marcus. I will go through pricing if you want at the end. And let's so get into this. Oops, sorry, had it upside down. Let me 
the fall out. Got the little care booklet there. And inside you can see just a little dust bag. You probably know what that means. And in here, make sure you have the right way, is the flat card holder. So yeah, from the 22B collection. And it is the light gold or champagne gold hardware. And you've got the two slip pockets on the back, the one on the front, and then the one in the middle. And as I said, this is from the 22B collection. And this is my first flat card holder. So I have another flat card holder from St. Laurent. Uh, it's in this beautiful, like really vibrant blue, like neon blue. I think it's almost a patent kind of, I'm trying to remember. It's shiny. Uh, so I think it's patent, but I love it. It's great. It's beautiful. I actually tend to carry like my gift cards in it. So that Neiman's gift card that I just pulled out of my bag that was randomly in there because I just opened the mail, uh, will go into that one. So I kind of keep those separate. So I keep my like store kind of cards and any gift cards in that particular flat card holder. But this is going to be great because as you know, um, or as some of you know, I recently got over the summer from the 22A collection, I got the white mini cocoa handle. So that's also in caviar leather. It's also in white. So this is going to be perfect. I will be honest with you. The flat card holders are a little bulky in that bag. Um, I mean, I can definitely fit it in there and I can fit my keys and I can fit my phone, albeit without the case on it. But this, I think, will just be that much better. And I really wanted to try the flat card holder. You know, I do have some smaller bags that I thought this we would be a benefit to. So, yeah, I'm very excited to add this to my collection. This is made in Spain. And um, they are now putting, even though, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you, but yeah, there it goes. So you can see there is a sticker, just like there used to be a sticker, but with an authenticity card. But now those stickers have that like alphanumeric code, like the bags do, but on that plate. So obviously in something like this, they're not going to put one of those plates because that would take up way too much room in a very small SLG like this. So they put it same kind of code, but on a sticker. So that is the first item we are unboxing today, the Chanel flat card holder in 20 in excuse me, in white caviar from the 22B collection. And these are currently going for $425. So that is the first item. So the next item came in this brown box. And I haven't, I've just broken the seal on it. I haven't taken it out of the box or unpacked it yet. So I have no idea what it looks like. And like I said, this is a first to my collection. I've never purchased anything from this brand before. Um, you'll understand when I open it, these are very, very difficult to get hold of. So let's get into the unboxing and we'll look at it together. So fingers crossed, I like it. <laughs> So, all right, let's get into it. So, like I said, I did go ahead and cut the seal. And this, if you can see, if you know that logo, is from Telfar. So, let me put this box down. So, there's just that. There's, I guess, just a packing slip. So, okay. Interesting. I didn't expect it to come like this. I, I don't know what I expected. Uh, for those of you who are, well, you know what, let's, let's just unbox it and then we'll talk about it. So obviously it's in this plastic bag and then inside is an actual dust bag and inside the dust bag, ooh, it's really bright. <laughs> 
<laughs> which I knew, but it's, I think it's even brighter in person than what was on the website. So I got the, so this is from the rainbow collection. I'm going to put the dust bag down and let me read it to you. So this is the small azalea shopping bag and I will give you guys a little view of the tag and yeah so I'm super excited about this so this was a drop that they did um earlier in September I'm trying to remember when it was so I can't remember who it was somebody posted on their Instagram that this drop was happening. So if those of you who, and well, let's undo this while I talk, for some of you may know that it's very hard to get a Telfar bag. They like sell out in an instant. So they, if I understand correctly, they will do a drop. And I think a lot of the times the drops like are secret, like you don't even know they're happening, but this particular rainbow drop so this is the, honestly, I'm going to have to like hang this because I don't know about you, but that's pretty wonky. <laughs> um, but this particular drop, they announced ahead of time. And like I said, it's the rainbow drop. I, again, I'm not super familiar with Telfar, except to know that if you're not on the website within like seconds of when they drop something, you're not going to get it. And if you go and look at the website, like, nothing is ever in stock you you can't just order a bag so this like i said was the rainbow collection and let me get this off and there was a notification so i set an alarm on my phone and i got on the website so this is it's a little tiny it's definitely definitely a little tbe moment for those of you who watch Cassie Thorpe. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to have to do a little work to get this to kind of conform, but it's super cute. I mean, I don't think it'll fit my phone. I'm filming on my phone right now, so I can't look at it. It would probably fit my, you know, obviously I could put my phone vertically in there, but I don't think it will fit my phone horizontally. So like I said, I will definitely have to do some work. You know what? Let me grab some items and we'll try fitting them in. Okay, so I took the items out of my Birkin and we're going to give those a try and see how they fit. So the first thing I'm going to try, which I don't think is going to fit, is my mini pochette accessoire. And I mean, I guess it fits. It fits. So yeah, I mean, I guess... You can fit it, you know, on kind of the diagonal in there. Hopefully you can see that, which, you know, I guess then if I wanted, really wanted to, I could slip my card holder in like so, and then my keys, do it upside down, I'm do it that way, like that. So, you know, I think probably it's pretty small. I don't think, and then my Bastia, you know, kind of slip. You know, I mean, I can get everything in there. Now, obviously, I don't have my phone in there. Okay, sorry, guys, if the angle keeps changing, but I'm trying to get out of this direct sunlight that is coming through the window. And obviously, I want the natural light to film, but I don't want to be, like, right in it because look how bright so I keep scooching but in the meantime because I did that I took my case off my phone and so let's see if that fits um okay so it's not gonna fit like absolutely in here but again it would fit if you wanted to do it diagonally which again then you could put you know, your items kind of in front and behind the phone, if that's something you wanted to do. And then again, I could slip my Bastia in there. 
sorry, it's catching on the little thing I have on the back of my phone. So, you know, you could put it in there. You could also, if I turned my phone vertically, so I do have these things in vertically. Let me try them horizontally because if you, I don't think I would ever like snap it because it's so tiny, but you, you know, my normal flat card holder does fit in horizontally. Take the Bastia out for now. My six string key holder, which you can see my fob does kind of stick out a bit, but that also fits horizontally if I wanted to do that. And my Bastia, you know, just slips down the back there. And then if I wanted to put my phone, you know, I could, like I said, put it upright like that and carry it. But yeah, I just thought it was super cute. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Telfar is um, a brand that only does vegan leather. So this is not real leather. So for those of you who are vegan or, you know, don't like to carry traditional, actual, genuine leather bags, this is a great option. So these came, so they came in three sizes. This was the smallest and they came in probably, I mean, there may have been 40 colors. So what happened was when you went on the website, you would click on what you add, wanted to add to cart. And I actually got on a little late. I was probably 10 or 15 minutes late to the drop. And I was worried that everything would be gone, frankly, because everything I've heard about when Telfar does a drop, like, like I said, they're gone instantaneously. So I knew that I wanted this color because I really wanted a pop of color because I just thought it would be really fun. And those of you who have watched some of my other videos, you know that one of the dream colors in Hermes that I would love it if they brought back is Rose Poupre. Not that this is exactly like Rose Poupre, but it's, you know, maybe as close as I'm going to come right now. So I just thought this would be a fun, just super fun color. And so I, it was still available and I added it to cart, but when you added it to cart, you couldn't check out right then. You basically went into like a, a waiting room type situation. So I was there in the waiting room for probably 45 to 50 minutes. So even though I was able to add it to cart, I didn't know that by the time I was able to actually check out whether this would still be available. And thankfully, obviously it was. So I, yeah, I was very excited to get it. I want to say, I think it was a total with taxes. I think it was like $164 and change, something like that. And, you know, for a super cute little pop of color, I think that is a good price. And like I said, I really wanted to try getting one. I would love to get one of the UGG Telfar collabs that they do in the mini size. My only thing now, again, I haven't used this bag yet. So, you know, just take this with a grain of salt. And obviously I don't like the fact that these are super funky right now, <laughs> but I wish these straps were detachable. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I knew that they were not detachable, which is what one of the reasons why I got the smaller size, because I figured I would wear it, you know, put that in there, cross body. And so, you know, those straps would always be on me. I'm not quite sure how much I would love having this bag in a bigger size that I then maybe was using more as a tote. And that I really wouldn't want to throw over my shoulder. And just, you know, these straps are, you know, hopefully they'll break in some and, you know, through use and they'll get more malleable. But right now they're pretty stiff. I mean, like I said, as you can see, they're super <laughs> funky, wonky, because they were all, you know, coiled up in the packaging. So, I'll, like I said, I'll have to work on it. I'll, you know, I'll put a pinned comment in this video you know, maybe a month from now and let you know how I'm getting along with it. But 
yeah, I think it's super cute. So I'll do some mod shots for you. I've never tried one on before, so this will be new for both of us. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see from the mod shots, this does hit, I personally think, a little high on me. I would like it to sit probably a good three, four inches lower. These top handles were kind of, you know, running into my boob a little bit. Now I am a curvy girl. I do have a large chest. So, you know, take that into consideration if you're, you know, as you saw it on me and how it might fit on your body. But yeah, I mean, I. I would anticipate using this probably more during the spring and summer months. I could see this with like a really neutral outfit, you know, maybe just a white tank and a pair of linen pant, you know, flowy linen pants in the heat of summer and then wearing this as a pop of color. So yeah, I, you know, I'm glad I tried it. It, like I said, it's my first foray into Telfar and you know, for being a vegan leather, I think it feels really nice. It doesn't feel plasticky. I don't honestly know that if somebody didn't tell me that this was vegan leather that I wouldn't think that it was anything but genuine leather. But yeah, so just I didn't show you no feet on the bottom. But I think I'm going to enjoy this. Like I said, probably more in the spring and summer, but I was glad that I was able to actually get one in my collection. Just to try it out and see how it is like i said there's two bigger sizes from here so this is the baby and then there's like a medium and then there's like a large and actual like true sort of tote bag size so let, let me know in the comments if you have any of those how you like them how they've been wearing you know i, ha I haven't watched really any videos on this which surprises me because normally before i buy a bag i will do some research but I think I was just so excited that I was actually potentially going to be able to get one that I just, I just went for it. Like I said, a new brand to me, Telfar, and a new little mini bag in an absolutely gorgeous, fun pop of color. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, you know, if you have a Telfar bag, I would love it if you would, you know, let me know in the comments below how you enjoy your bag, how you use it. Do you find the straps annoying that they don't, aren't detachable, that they're permanent, they're not adjustable, all that kind of thing. And let me know what you think of my little Chanel unboxing and my new card holder, flat card holder, which is a new style to me when it comes to Chanel card holders. Thank you so much for watching. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are having an amazing day. And again, I would love it if you would just take one second, if you haven't already, to click the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.